everyone, it's Carrie Please. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a very special video as I bring you another special build from another game. I am building the Silent Hill for the room, which is technically an apartment 302. I usually do this at least two or three times a year where I bring in a build from another video game into The Sims 4. These videos are not tutorials, they are basically just how I manage to go from one game to The Sims 4 and bring them in and as close to each other as possible. But you are welcome to follow the video if you like, if you want to give this a go. I also have some other builds that I've done. I've done Silent Hill Homecoming, I've done uh, Tokyo Gold Calf and it's cute. I've done trying to remember now my brain brain fart literal brain fart i've also done a resident evil 2's orphanage borderlands 2 and moxie's bar and resident evil 3 jill's apartment so i'm doing this one now this time so this game i haven't personally played i have mostly seen it played so I don't really know too much about it. I can only really read what is on the back of the box. It is made by a company called Konami. Some people say it's obviously different ways. But basically it says a room full of nightmares. An all new terrifying story in this. The groundbreaking, shocking and the most disturbed series of them all. Ke Henry, I want to say Kenny then, Henry Townshead wakes up from a dream and into a nightmare as he finds himself inexplicably trapped in his own apartment. He discovers a mysterious portal therein that leads to a horrifying alternative reality and the shocking truth to the horrific mystery. Silent Hill 4 contains gruesome sights and shocking images that defy imagination, testing your sanity to the limit. Henry Townshead Henry Townsend, I really can't read, must find his way out of the nightmare and through you discover the dark, terrible secrets of Silent Hill. Dare you enter the room. So that's basically what it says. That's all I can give you about the game. It is obviously clearly a horror game, rated for 18, so please do not play it if you are under age, because that is not what I'm telling you to do. So obviously in The Sims 4 it's going to look a lot crisper and cleaner. I'm not going to get it exactly what it is. I'm just basically using what is available to me and making the best of what I can. At the beginning you saw me basically make a shell of the build that obviously gets moved and changed around as I go along and figure out the floor plan to the Silent Hill game which usually happens when I do these special builds. I, I like to go off of a shell before I get into the build. I have to push and pull, move things around for me to get where things need to be. In the bathroom, there is actually a hole in the wall uh, for where Henry climbs through, I guess, to this other reality world of his. Um, but I can't put a wall in the Sims 4 walls, so obviously that isn't there so it's crisp and clean also for the screenshots at the end of the build i decided to do it the opposite way around so the sims 4 screenshots are on top of the silent hill 4 game screenshots and you don't have to turn your brightness up or put it in full screen this time because my wonderful new editor has done that job for me which is absolutely fantabulous that saves a job for you guys and also for me trying to work out what you can and can't see the build is a bit off with the floor plan when building the living room uh, it felt squish well, obviously it is in the game as well which you'll see in the screenshot so you'll know what I'm talking about but when it came to building the bedroom it ended up with a big massive square between the living room and the bedroom obviously that's not in the Silent Hill 4 game but for the sake of the look of what I was going for with this build there is a empty box there so don't yell at me that isn't my fault that's just how things usually turn out when i end up bringing another game into this sims 4 so talking about this sims 4 this lot is on a 40 by 30 lot built in new crest a it is one bedroom it is one bathroom open plan open plan i can't even english open plan kitchen and living room bedroom has an office area too which i think is cool i'd love that 
and laundry room and when I finished building this lot it was 33,811 simoleons. I also did notice at the start of the build I put in the kitchen wallpaper but then I accidentally changed it to all this grey normal stuff and I, I never put it back because I didn't know until after I'd done the screenshot so basically when I put the build video into the editor I was like wait that wall's totally grey it should be tiled so that was one mistake that I didn't clearly check for that is my bad and there was another thing which I have also forgotten I obviously use whatever packs are available to me I do own all the packs so I wasn't really too restricted in finding things that I needed this part with the curtains yeah I had to take the wall out to stop it clipping because it was really annoying but it was the only way I could get it to work some of these screenshots from the Silent Hill 4 are close in screenshots so you'll have to excuse that I couldn't move the angle anywhere else when I was getting the footage for the build oh that was the other thing I forgot I realized when going through the screenshots after making the video that there was a fan in the living room as well and I never put one in there so I do apologize for that mistake as well but hey we all make mistakes and we all learn from our mistakes so there you go now this video obviously isn't too long for you guys I feel it's a very good amount it didn't take me nearly as long as it has done most of the other builds it was a nice little build I wanted to do for you guys and also there wasn't much to take out of the video because the OBS software that I use you can pause when you're scrolling or finding an object which that was the most thing that took up most of the time looking for an object I knew was in the game and I can never ever find it in the category that I need it like ever so I was like damn this game so I, I always pause it when I'm trying to find something and then unpause it which is why you see me either random objects appearing or me going back and then re-adding them so that you guys knew what I did in between now this um, fencing thing you'll understand why that's there with this screenshot here there are chains on the door to stop himself from getting out so I just use that from the sims 4 so I'm gonna leave you guys here to enjoy the rest of the screenshots before I get to the end of the video thank you guys so much for joining me today I will leave a playlist to all the other builds that I have done in the description box and in the icons for you and some of those videos on the end screen don't forget to leave your comments down below don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber you enjoy this videos and you want to see more from me and i will see you all in my next video bye for now